Yeah, no, Jim Bianco, we actually heard from Fed Chair Jay Powell today. Not a ton of, of ground broken, though he did seem a little more concerned about the inflationary picture and didn't use the word transitory and did sort of play down the lack of employment progress that they still need on raising rates. So how do you how do you take the messages from the Fed right now? Yeah, hi, sir. Uh, the Fed has David, acknowledged sorry. that it's okay. <laughs> Jim's a good guy, and I say hello to him yeah. while we're talking there. But uh, <laughs> yet the Fed has clearly acknowledged that inflation's been higher than their expectations. But uh, they and we do expect that to moderate into next year. But interest rates are moving upward, in part on the expectation that the Fed uh, might need to hike rates by late next year. We still think very, very late next year. Um, but this is good for the banks. Part of the reason why financials are doing very well, on top of uh, the banks leading the earnings season off to a very strong start. And as Michael said, other firms, the earnings will not be as strong as the banks, but so far they're a lot better than feared. And the beats are actually bigger than usual, not as big as the past few quarters, but bigger than the past few years. And while the S&P 500 is near our uh, fair value, uh, top of the range of our fair value uh, estimates uh, for right now, it could go higher if the earnings outlook keeps up the momentum and long-term interest rates don't shoot upward. And we don't think they will, particularly as you see shorter term rates climbing, and that should put a damper on inflation fears. Nancy, you know, some interpretation of what's going on when it comes to this move in yields and the rise in expectations for a Fed rate hike is that the market is saying maybe the Fed will have to chase inflation higher, but maybe that's not really the antidote to supply chain problems. And it might end up being some kind of a mistake if the economy is not yet at full potential because longer term yields have not gone up as much. Maybe that's kind of, you know, overinterpreting what's happening. But how would you feel about that? Do you think that the, the markets are braced for something like that? You know, it's Mike. It's it's so curious the way the bond market's at. I think the bond vigilantes took a run at, at are taking a run at the at the yield uh, at the moment. But I think what we also know is that the Fed is mo most likely going to be more dovish when we get the new appointments, and we don't know what's going to happen with Fed Chair Powell. So I, I think what the market is saying is, look, we've we've got a floor under this market with share buybacks, and we know that um, companies have announced more share buybacks than pre-pandemic. Even though growth is slowing, it's still pretty robust. Even though margins are decelerating, they've decelerated from uh, second quarter to third quarter uh, by almost a full percent, uh, they're still pretty healthy. And, and we think uh, companies do, in, in, in this inflationary environment, have, have the opportunity to um, raise prices. And, and I'll just say one last thing. Um, if you go back and look historically, in the last five rising interest rate environments, technology has outperformed. And I think that's a secular narrative that we want to participate in, in certain themes within technology. And that may continue to provide some legs to this market as we move into 2022.